that time of year. Time for roses and quality streets. Time for cute photos of your dogs in Christmas outfits. Time for Santa. But most of all, time for Panto. Because what's Christmas without it? It's time for a joker. Time for a dame. And of course, time for a princess. This year, Bristol is home to a Kudos pantomime production of Aladdin. And I've been lucky enough not only to watch the show more than once, but to hang out backstage and see what happens behind the scenes. Yes, that is me taking centre stage. I've always wanted to stand there, so I took the opportunity whilst I could. It is a very rare sight to see the theatre so empty. And this guy here is living the dream. All right, let's talk about Panto. Watching a Panto, you only ever see what's on stage. What you don't see is the incredible hard work and the dedication that goes on backstage to make sure that the show runs smoothly. This particular Panto has 52 shows that's run over Christmas and the New Year. That's a lot of costume changes. Have you ever wondered who controls the many curtain changes? This guy right here. Let me tell you, it is not easy. This is the wardrobe. Like with every panto, you've got sequins, bright colours, more sequins because you can never have enough. You've got sparkly outfits, vibrant outfits, and of course, extravagant hats. What's a panto without a tutu? I won't tell you who wears it, but I can assure you, he pulls it off beautifully. There are shoes in every corner you look. Marty Pello's wigs get a room of their own because, let's face it, they deserve it. Wig and wardrobe adjustments take place between shows to make sure that every outfit is always as good as new. A group of people that I don't think get enough recognition of their work in the panto are the ensemble. They are there every day working hard alongside the main cast. The show simply wouldn't be the same without them. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Two time. As a theatre lover, it was so great to see the cast having as much fun off stage as they do on stage. Everyone is always there to lend a helping hand. I feel like I work at Moulin Rouge, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, very Moulin Rouge. The Bristol Hippodrome is just as good, though. It is. There's your plug for you right there. <laughs> My favourite character of this show was Widow Twanky, played by the fantastic David Robbins, who actually designed and created his fabulous wardrobe of costumes. Hayley Tamadin is a perfect princess, dazzling everyone with her fantastic vocals every day. And then there's the wonderful Joe Pasquale, who is undoubtedly the funniest man on stage, and so incredibly kind off stage too. The show itself is a spectacle and I laughed throughout the entire performance. I was hugely impressed with the enormity of the set. And don't ask me how, but there is a magic flying carpet. Even the famous genie is included. There are familiar pop songs and an original song written by none other than Marty Pello. I know I'm not the only one that enjoys going to the theatre, but there is something about going out with your friends and family around Christmas time that makes it extra special. I think it's fair to say that my first experience of Panto was possibly one of the best. I'm not going to rate it with the traditional gold stars. Instead, just because I loved it so much, I'm going to give it five big hearts. One, two, three, four, five. Be sure to see it before it's come and gone. You'll laugh so much your lungs will hurt. Merry Christmas, Bristol.